Oh man, look at that sunrise. You don't get that everywhere, folks. Anyways, if you're wondering what where I'm at, I'm uh, actually in the state of Oregon. Uh, South Dakota, over the summer, had a big drought, lost a lot of my money. Uh, actually, about 19 million of my hard-earned dollars. So, I moved to Oregon. Well, I, no, I guess I only... Oh, shit, I'm glitching out. I guess I only spent, like, or lost 10 million. It cost about 9 million to buy this place and move here. And then, uh, all my stuff's getting shipped into the shop. So, that'll be another video. But, I think this map is called Lone Oaks. It's a representation of Oregon. And if you do not know what this is, this is Farming Simulator 2019. I am Parker, the founder and producer of LLP Gaming Videos. Um, it's 8.30 a.m. right now. I got in late last night, slept in about an hour later than I normally do. But I haven't even taken a look around this farm. I literally just pulled my truck up here. If you can't see, my tracks have already been here only once. Set up the doghouse. Let him out of the back seat. So we're going to go ahead and hop into my truck and uh, go take a look around the farm. It looks like a pretty nice farm. I saw pictures of it online. I got this farm and uh, the field directly north of us. It's about 40 acres, I would say. Well, 41 acres to be exact. So I actually got to go into my settings here really quick because I realized that my automatic engine start was on and I hate that. So let's go ahead and back up. Try not to hit our dog here. Let's go back into the front yard. And uh, let's take a look around the farm. So, it said it had a couple sheds, so that's one of them, I'm guessing. It's got a two stall garage, which I personally enjoy. It's got this shed. I hope you can go in that shed, honestly. Um, let's go ahead and shut this off. We can walk from here. Open door. Dang. I love this shed. What's upstairs? Can I even go up there? Oh, heck yeah. Alright, so I'm planning on staying here for a long time. Um, besides the roleplay part, what actually happened was uh, I let a guy play with me online and uh, he spent a bunch of my money and modded the map all out like the land on the map he landscaped it and he did not know how to landscape so it was really pretty much destroyed so instead of going back to that map and buying all the same machinery I just had I decided just to move maps so I went on the Facebook group called Farming Simulator for Xbox One PS4 and PC and I asked them what was one of the best maps on the game and they said Lone Oak, I believe is what this map is called. So I went and I downloaded the mod for Lone Oak, and here we are. I'm just using the DLC house. I'm probably going to eventually use the actual house part for a hired hand. I have a guy that I met on that same Facebook page that is going to be helping me farm. He's not on tonight, but he should be tomorrow, and we're going to try to do one video a day. So I'll probably let him live there, or just give him this whole farm. Uh, well, the house, anyways, because this will be our actual farm for storing machinery and stuff. And then I'll go put a house and a pond and build a nice little area for just me uh, somewhere else on the map not too far away. Or I'll let him do that, because I personally love this house. It's every room, almost, you can go into. That's why I decided to keep this house instead of build one. So, yeah, that's pretty much the farm we got. There's a barn over here, it looks like. I think this might be a sell point. Alright, but let's get back into the game. Alright, so we're here in Oregon. I don't own this field. I should probably buy it, though. Um, all I brought with this is this truck. 
I should be getting most of my machinery in when uh, it gets here. Oh, sorry, I hit my mic. So, as of right now, I'm just going to go land hunting, I guess, and do a couple reviews on uh, some of the stuff around here. So I'm guessing this is a slurry tank thing. Um, oh no, chaff, so pretty much silage, or wet silage. Silage that has not turned to silage yet, if you guys don't know what chaff is. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and uh, kind of do a review on the map and uh, see if we can find anywhere that we would want to possibly build some additions onto our farm. I'm going to have to fix that. I want like this line right here that I'm driving with my pickup. I want this line out and then all the grass in the center gone and probably square it off so it looks a little bit nicer. Anyway, there's also only like hardly no way to get to the farm from the shop. Um, found that out. But anywho, um, I think I'm going to start logging a lot more. Trying it anyway. I think I'm going to do logging and... Uh, um, I think I'm going to do logging and just farming. I don't think I'm going to do any animals at all until later on. Um, if you buy the property that somebody else's farm is on, do you get to keep their farm? That's a good question, I think. Like, can I open this door? Heck yeah, I can. Is there any... Like... Is there any house here? No, there's not a house here. Maybe I'll buy this for my hired hand guy. I might start a new farm and buy this piece. Just because I think he'll probably be able to put a house somewhere over in this area, maybe on this field, and make it look nice and pretty and put trees around it and stuff. But I believe this is just a piece of land that you can like buy and use for yourself. Yeah, I'm I'm liking this map so far. Or what about that one down there? Can we pretty much buy any farm on here? I'm guessing as long as we're able to open the door of the shop, we should be able to. Just so it can't be used by any of the other people that join. Let's drive down there and check. Because if we can, then I'll probably just stay where I'm at because it's got that huge shop on there. And uh, he can he can use this one down here if I can even get to it from this side. Should be able to. And if I can find one with a house, that'd be great too. Oh, Ian and Sons Lumber Company. Okay, this is not a property. This is a. Uh, is there any other house areas on the map? Hmm. I guess there is a road right here. But yeah, this is the farm that I bought. Um, came when I when I moved here. I bought this farm online. Um, yeah, I think I'm just going to buy this one here. Holy crap. <laughs> I guess I'm going to be owning all of this, which I don't really... Well, no, I'm not going to. I'll just let him buy... We'll probably buy Field 27. And, uh, buy... No, I'm going to buy it for his farm. So... Uh, how's this forest stuff work? Yeah. Alright, so I own this here. And, um... So, let's head back out there. And, well, let's go take a tour of, like, shop and stuff. How about... Seems like a good idea, huh? Alright, so we gotta go... It's saving. Shoot. We gotta go to this road and take a right. 
Okay. We can do that. Anyways, I'm going to keep talking while we drive there. It shouldn't take too long. I'm still planning on doing the snow removal, just because they said that this map gets pretty hefty amounts of snow. Shoot, I gotta turn my steering down, my steering sensitivity back down. <laughs> I was using this one tractor that I bought and uh, on the old map, and the steering on it was super slow, so I decided to turn it up, now I'm regretting my decision. Alright, let's go ahead and cut over this way, there we go. Ah, okay, anywho, um, I think we're still going to do the snow removal thing, and uh, probably figure out something for another fun time while we're waiting for crops to grow. So this here is the shop, I love how you can go into the building here. So this is the shop. Let's go ahead and hop out. It's a it's a pretty nice shop. It's actually a case shop, so that's yeah, Lone Oak, Mannings of Lone Oak. Yeah, so it's a case I eat shop, which makes me feel a lot more trustworthy about the equipment I'm going to be buying. So that being said, <sighs> sorry, super tired. Like I said, I drove almost all night last night. I probably got here about 4.30 a.m., slept till 8.30. And here we are, doing what I do. <laughs> Alright, so actually, I'm going to go back to the shop. I know this is not realistic, backing up like this. Well, it is for me, I don't know <laughs> about you guys, but... I do a lot of stuff like that on the road, especially around where I live, actually, because I know the road and all the people. Anywho, I'm going to go back to the shop. I think I'm going to buy a trailer and a skid steer with a bucket. And the reason I'm going to do that is because I feel like every farm needs a skid steer. So let's go ahead and shut this off. I'll run up here. Well, actually... I'll pull this in the parking spot. We're going to do this one super realistically. Like mostly cockpit view. Try not to run into the building here. Beautiful. Alright, go here. Open the store thing. Skid steers. I don't really want the JCB... Um, well, skid loader I used to stack various things. Well, let's get this one here. Yep. Yes. Okay. And then we're going to need the bucket. Skid steers, loader stuff. Let's just get a normal bucket, I guess. Okay. And then we need to go back to low loaders. There we go. Buy, yes, okay. All right. I just do not like where they put us to back up to this trailer. <laughs> but anyway, then start the engine. Got to tilt those forward so I can get underneath this lip. There we go. We got it. We're going to let that warm up a little bit. All right. And then I'm going to go ahead and hop in here, unfold it. Turn around so I can see. Never mind. <laughs> I can see a little bit. Try to make this a little bit wide here. I'm going to have to come in kind of at an angle, I suppose. Um, let's see if I can use this mirror at all. I mean, I've been not used cockpit view. <laughs> Loader on up. Fold that up. 
we can go on ahead and pull this up like that. Shut that off because I don't know how long this is going to lo take to load and strap down. And uh, where I come from, we always back skid loaders up because most of the time you're like unloading them in a sketchy spot and you just don't want that laying on your conscience <laughs> if you uh, have to back it off the trailer. Especially a tracked skid loader. I don't know if you guys have ever driven tracked skid loaders or any skid loader at all. Very, very, uh... Very touchy. There we go. Shut it off. Get out. All right, man, this thing's squatting a little bit, ain't it? All right, enter vehicle, start engine, fold the loader or fold the uh, ramps. All right. Got chains on it, tensioning it down. Looks good to me. Okay, we're gonna haul this back to the farm and uh, probably start doing some dirt work for uh, like the dirt work where that. Oh shoot! This traffic is heavy in this game, or on this specific map. Go 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 go! Okay. So, once I get this back to the farm, I think we're going to, on the side of the machine shed where those two doors are, one door has grass in front of it, I think we're going to go on ahead and shoot, shoot, <laughs> holy crap, alright, skid steer did not fall off, this is going to be a pretty unrealistic episode, but it'll get better, once I get to the farm I'm going to turn down my sensitivity because this is ridiculous. Anyway, we're going to clear out some of that grass and smooth it out, sprinkle some gravel on there. First day, since I don't have any farm machinery yet, hardcore machinery anyways, really no reason for me to go out and buy new stuff until, you know, I get my stuff that I had before here. But I also got an offer from someone to, I gotta see if I can take this road. Sure can. Take this road right here. I also got an offer from a guy back in South Dakota to buy all my machinery. I mean, it's pretty cheap. He offered me a short price, but I feel like it would be a lot easier to do that than get it all shipped here. Like, they haven't even sent that stuff out yet, so... I think I might just do that, because if I, if I can do that and get rid of it and then get it sent here later that would be or not sent here later but then I can just buy new stuff I mean yeah I'm wasting more money obviously but I wouldn't have to worry about everybody having to work their butts off trying to get it from South Dakota to Oregon so I think that's honestly what I'm gonna do and uh... I'll just go buy new stuff, but that's kind of a long drive, so I might buy a semi and haul it here with a semi, though, too. And, uh, since... Oh, let's just actually go in front of... Let's actually go up here and unload it. Alright. Oops. Unfold loader. Hop on out. Shoot. Okay, that was really unrealistic, but it kind of hopped on there a weird way. 
Alright, so 8 miles an hour. I wish this thing had like a second gear, but it does not. Alright, we're gonna actually go ahead and pull this thing into the shop here, and I'll do all this groundwork later on. And then I think right outside this door I've got something I want to put out here. Holy crap, this thing is big. Alright, so get this backed up, tucked away. Okay. Can I use these? No, they're just for decoration. Oh, that, oh, I wonder if you can back up to them and use them. I have no idea, though. But this is like some storage for big bags or pallets of seed. Pretty much what I want to do is, let me go to the landscape view. I'll kind of mark it out for you. So let's back up. What I want to do is go from like the corner of this building back to like here, straight over to the edge of my field and up. And I want to make all this concrete. Just so I can pull a piece of machinery out and right in between the two doors I'm going to put my, uh, well, it's the best way to look at the farm I think. I might put my power washer like right up here in the, well, like right here where my arrow thing is pointing are right on the corner of this building by the door and I'll just wash stuff down here on this concrete. Um, is this building able to get into? Okay, those are more stalls for stuff. Alright, can this building open up? I'm just gonna run down there quick. No reason, I'm wasting some diesel, huh? Alright, but after we get done touring this farm, I think this is gonna be the end of this episode. But I really want to see if it's this one here. Oh, nice. This thing's actually pretty good size. I might put stuff that I don't use a whole lot in here. Um, and this is a pretty wide door, I think. This might be where, like, I'm going to put a sprayer and a weeder in here. So... Those doors are really slow. Anywho, more storage. Man, this place has a lot of storage. Do these doors open? Yep, I definitely want to. Holy cow. Probably try my best to back heads in here, like bean heads or corn heads. This gate opens too. Jeez, this is cattle. I am loving this map. Whoever, uh. Yep, cattle. Whoever made this map, thank you. <laughs> this is the kind of map that I've been looking for for a long time. Pretty much since I've started, I've wanted a map that all the buildings work like they should. This is a building for what? Um, open gate. I'm guessing this is just a building for decoration, which is completely fine. Don't get me wrong. I just wish the cell points were a little bit better. Like, like if you wanted to buy just this forest, you don't have to f own all of this. But it's, I can deal with that. I mean, it costs zero dollars, so you don't really worry about it. So is this chickens, or what is this now? Yeah, this is chickens. I might own some chickens. Chickens are easy to take care of. And then we've got this barn, or this garage. I love the toolboxes and the workbenches. I don't like the texture of the concrete, but that I can get over that. So I think my diesel and my Mustang are going to go in here. Um, Mustang will go over on this side just because I don't drive it as much and then diesel will go over here and uh, you can actually get into the house from here so 
circle. Oh, geez, what's this door go? Downstairs? There's a downstairs? A movie theater? Okay, so that's all new. <laughs> okay, let's... I just had this door open not too long ago. Okay, well, I won't worry about showing you guys that right now. But, I mean, like, almost every door works. Like, there's a closet door that works. Who else would go through the trouble of making a closet door open and close? I wonder if you can pick this up. Circle. Pick up object. Square. Dang it. Almost, though. <laughs> okay. Okay. So I'm going to go get my truck and trailer again. i got to find a place to back my truck. I think I'm going to put my trailers in this red barn down here. So after I get this trailer put away, I'm probably going to call this the end of the video. Um, open gate. So if you haven't done it already, make sure to subscribe to the channel if you like what you see. And hit the post notifications bell, that little bell right next to the subscribe button. And if you liked this specific video, then go ahead and smash that like button. And if you did not like it, instead of leaving a hate comment, give me an idea of what you would enjoy. Remember, I'm playing on a PS4 console. This is not a PC, so I cannot do all the cool mods that all those other people can do. But I do enjoy making videos, so you can go ahead and leave a hate comment if you want. I'm not going to... I'm not going to not I'm not going to stop making videos because of it. This might actually be a bad idea. These barns are really close. Oh, don't jackknife. I'm just going to go up in between these buildings actually and back it up. That might be a little smarter. I don't know why I didn't think about that. Anyways, I think this is going to end the video right here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, let me know what you guys think I should be doing next. So, yeah. Until next time, remember to keep on farming. The world needs farmers. Alright, but until next time, keep on farming. And I'll see you on the next one.